we're done here, guys. He's the he's awesome. He's <laughs> awesome, and he will remain awesome until he is not awesome. That's how this works. What I said today in my LFR is he's the his career as a Leaf is the living embodiment in goalie pads of a 16 seed beating a one seed. Why do you watch what March Madness? Why do you watch sports? For moments like McElhaney stealing the show. 33 save shutout. Got an assist in the shutout. He had more points last night than the Habs. 931 save percentage in 16 games. Not bad. 935, Adam. Oh, 935. Oh, shit. Even higher. He has eight career shutouts. Four of them have come in his 30-game Leafs career since getting claimed off waivers from Columbus. Get behind this incredible story. Why can't you? And, and that's what blows my mind because... Oh, well, they might trade Sparks as a result because he's on a one-way... Well, cross that bridge when we get there. If you have time, take the playoffs. it. Yeah, da 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 he, what has he done other than his win. job? Yeah, win, stop pucks. Our Hockey Night Throw Cinema down. in London, I believe, was a, was the first game mm -hmm. he played for the Leafs. And he won. And he won. And, Four, two, and he was great. Sense. And yep. you know, the thing is, is that, like, I, I understand a little bit from this perspective that Sparks and uh, Calvin Pickard have been historically good in the AHL. Great. And they've had an unbelievable tan, unbelievable success. The Marlies are doing great, and that's fantastic, and people want to take a look at that depth. They just want to see, what else do we got? But the point is, if he's winning, which is the point, yeah. that's why you play. You play to win the game. <laughs> Now, the, my, why why would you why would you hope for him? And I, every game, every game, I get tweets from people going, "Is this Magalini's last game as a Leaf?" Like the first game still? of the year, yeah, first game of the year, there was like I think he let in four goals or something, and I think they lost. He had a couple rough ones, which everybody does. Sure. And people were like, "Is that Magalini's last game in a Leaf?" It's every time, every like, October. Is this Freddie's last game as a Leaf? Does he have four? Yeah, really. <laughs> Do Does people he, not like him because his style of play is like out of 1995? Oh, dude, he looks terrible. Yeah, but he always wins. But I look behind him and there's no puck. Now, yeah. the it's problem, great. Leading up to this, it's understandable that a lot of people would think, well, he'll revert back to his career average. But if you look at a guy, even if that's, even if that's true, in the last 18 months, he hasn't. Mm -hmm. And look at Andrew Hammond. He had half a year. And injuries. And, and injuries. But yeah. look at Andrew Hammond in Ottawa. Yeah. Took that team on his back with the hamburgers or whatever to the playoffs because he was hot. Yeah, yeah. you run it till it's not hot. They, they signed him to a two-year, eight hundred grand deal that you can get rid of so easily or bury, which I think was probably, probably the, the intention in year two, bury him. Uh, it gets to it gets to be a problem when you sign them to you know over a million bucks for several years, kind of like they did with Hammond, and then you run into injuries, and then it makes it even worse. The cold business part of me is like, okay, you sell them, you sell high on McElhaney in the off season, and then go with one of Sparks or Pickard. Uh, but the sports loving part of me is friggin' let it ride right now. Best goalie in the league, statistically. <laughs> I mean, in his current role, <laughs> in his current role, in his role. Like, sure, I had some people like uh, one per one person I know. I know Curtis <laughs> McElhaney is not the best goalie in the league. Okay, I get it. But I had someone. Yeah, go, that's right, Tampa. Curtis McElhaney better yeah. than Vasilevsky. Vasilevsky, unlikely. <laughs> Curtis McEl Jennings has something to say <laughs> about that. McEl Vesna. Is what McEl Vesna. <laughs> That's not, even, <laughs> that's not even good, you guys. Michael Vesna's good. <laughs> no, it's not. You just added Vesna to it. <laughs> Don't you talk about Kurt Hart Michael Pearson <laughs> that way. How dare you? <laughs> Kurt Hart <laughs> Michael Pearson. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's Kurt Hart Michael Lindsay. Michael Lindsay. Kurt Hart Actually, that like, kind of works. Kurt Hart sounds like an 80s heartthrob guy who's in a, a show that's like Miami Vice, like Kurt Hart. And then, like, he's in, his, he's in a pink tank he's top third, solving crime. The third member of the Rockers. Shawn Michaels! Marty Jannetty! <laughs> Kurt Hart! Kurt Hart! Michael Pearson! Michael Lindsay! <laughs> Michael Jennings Curtis Curtis Michael Lindsay! Dude, he stops pucks. Look, uh, someone said he's really good in his role as a backup. When you start to make him a starter, maybe it becomes a problem. Hey, maybe you're right. He has earned the... He is that's great. That's what he's supposed to do. Maybe he should be a backup then. 
no, no, crazy what, idea. What, what Maybe the saying, guy who excels at being a backup should be a backup. Hold on, hold on. What are you saying, saying he's better at defense? <laughs> and we can't play him at forward? <laughs> we can't roll it out. <laughs> and now that he's on defense, we can move Gardner up to wing. Stanley Cup, here we go. We're going. No, but what, I guess what they're saying is, like, if Freddie's out a month, for example, okay. you can't then give McElhaney, like, ten games. Which is why, why you have depth in the system but in the first place. Which is what they're arguing. So make Sparks the starter and have McElhaney back him up. Oh, but what no, I would make sense, though. I agree. So, no, what <laughs> I would... No, it might. It might. I get the thought process, but he has played so well that you need to give him the chance... To stink, why, which he hasn't. Why would you give the chance to the guy who hasn't been playing hasn't with the anything. team and hasn't had the best save percentage yeah. out of anybody in the league the last 16 games? Give it to the guy with three <laughs> shutouts and 14 starts or whatever it is. Like, That's pretty good. Why, why pretty would good you ever 25% of his shots, of his starts, end in a shutout? Yeah, something like that. Math. I don't know. So here's, here's <laughs> There's yeah. no argument for Sparks to take. The role Except for that, people are are big fans of the unknown, right? And that it's like it's a new present. Totally, and, which and, is mm, why, yeah. which is why you know we go, you know, get out of here, Dominic Moore. I want to see what this Johnson kid's made of. I that's why, that's why people great. love draft picks. Oh, because your draft pick <laughs> is a superstar. You know what a draft pick is? Your imagination. <laughs> exactly. And it's, your it's imagination could be anyone. Imagination. <laughs> oh, this fourth round pick we got for basically nothing could be the guy who. Man, Victor Arvidsson. Thank goodness we drafted him instead of Dalian because <laughs> he is. Dalian might be a Super Saiyan, but this guy is like Super Saiyan 4 and he just reverted back and he has a red cardigan for some reason. Here's the thing like, <laughs> the way the Leafs operate. Is that you got to earn your way? You got to take someone's job, as Mike Babcock likes to say. Take somebody, unless you're Dominic Moore. Screw you. If if that is if that is the case, then the Leafs are going to continue to play Curtis McElhaney until they get a back to back, and that's just the way it is, man. Like the the the, the a Mac to Mac, <laughs> or he stinks, <laughs> or he stinks. Yeah, and and that's the thing. Garrett Sparks is gonna have to go in there and and prove it, but he's not just gonna be thrown in there. Okay, Garrett, you're the starter now. Congratulations. Also. Mac no, Lenny why would you in, do that? McElhaney goes in the next game, allows six goals in one period, gets yanked. Well, that's it with McElhaney. We're not playing him ever again. No! No! It's more than one game. Stop cheering against... If you're a Leafs fan, stop, stop cheering, cheering against. against this guy. Yeah. Love it. It's an amazing story. Love it. When is the last time we had a backup goaltender that anybody talked about at all... James that, Reimer. ...that was any good? James Reimer. James Reimer. When they forced him into the backup And before role, that? For no reason. Before James Reimer. Who was Vesa Toskal as backup? Andrew Raycroft. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and J.S. All-time Band, wins leader, Andrew Raycroft. Oh, that makes me so mad. <laughs> yeah, Freddie, come back. Come back, man. And just, oh, God, that makes me mad. It makes me so mad. So it wasn't even good. That's the part that, that I, I just, I, I look at that and I go, how, how freaking sad. Because this guy has been nothing but a pro. And they got him for nothing. The two focal points of that game were both fantastic stories. Curtis McElhaney is a fantastic story. Andreas Janssen is a fantastic story. Mm-hmm. Odds constantly stacked against him. He's playing with as- asthma unbeknownst to him, and despite that, was just good enough to get drafted. Like, barely. What was he, like, fifth last? Something like that. Barely good enough to get drafted, but they draft him. And then they find this problem, and they solve it. Tears the Swedish league apart. He does so well that the Leafs, hey, invite him over. You're going to come into our lineup in the middle of our playoff run, even though we're stacked anyway. Gets brained. Knocked out of the playoffs. I don't even think he began the season on time. Wasn't that good. Took a while to get his feet back underneath him. Wastes a whole season in that regard. Then he tears the league apart this year. He had a good back half last year. He had a really good back half last year. Had a really good back half last year. Tears the league apart this year. But Levo there, Soshnikov there, uh, uh, Dom Dominic Moore, Moore. Thomas Bacanitz. Uh, Thomas Bacanitz gets added to the team. Matt Martin is still with the team forever and ever. Amen. And he somehow gets his opportunity, plays seven minutes, and 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 he gets he gets smashed into the boards, gets stitches, barely even plays in his first game. Babcock doesn't even get a full evaluation of him. Matt Martin's back into the lineup the next game, and then he decides, hockey night in Canada, I'm going to give this kid a shot, and he leads the team in shots and scores a goal. It's a fantastic story. It's incredible. And it completely overshadowed McElhaney, who we don't even like. Screw him. Like, I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. This, this six foot three man in his mid-30s who plays 
like who looks like a math teacher? Two. Looks like a math teacher. Looks like a math teacher. <laughs> <laughs> looks like the antithesis of a rock star hockey player. Looks like. The uncle you know the least about. <laughs> <laughs> like this totally unassuming man. Yeah. Who just happens to be good at hockey. He's the guy who asks you how's it going and you have a 10 minute conversation, that's it. Who who you don't hear about ever. I The last time I remember McElhaney getting this much attention is when Mike Keenan made a joke about him when he was in the minors when Keenan was coach of the Flames. That's what I remember. I think it was, I think it was, I want to say Kiprasov was one of the Flames goalies, and I don't remember who the other one was, and they had a really good game after someone got injured. And uh, then Keenan, uh, someone goes, Keenan, who are you starting next game? And he jokes, he goes, McElhaney. And, uh, and all the reporters in the stand, ah, ha, 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 and they laugh about it. Then you don't hear about this guy ever until the Blue Jackets put him on waivers, and you're like, oh, I didn't even know he was still in the league. And then the Leafs claim him. Oh, why the hell are you claiming McElhaney? Comes in as great, despite... Looking like a like a like flubber. Remember that movie? Just bouncing all over the place, like un, like Hashik, but not on purpose. <laughs> and he just wills the Leafs into the playoffs. Stops the Sidney Crosby shot. Yeah, but it wasn't even that good of a Sidney Crosby shot. Shut up and believe in magic. Enjoy it. Just shut up and believe in magic. Even if it's not even that good of a Sidney Crosby shot, Doesn't it's matter. still it's an unbelievable you save. You stop it then. It's an unbelievable save. It really is. Were you in net to stop it? No, you weren't. He was because he busted his ass. He had to be Curtis McElhaney for a decade <laughs> and a half trying to play pro hockey. And he gave himself this opportunity. And in his mid-30s, he's played the best hockey of his life. Why won't you just cheer for this man?